now let us discuss about the different cropping patterns in india see here cropping patterns in the sense how does the cropping takes place in india generally we have for agriculture there are different reasons to be successful first point is we need the rains then we need the sunshine then we need the supply of seeds fertility of the soil these play a key role in any kind of agricultural pattern now moving on to after all these factors are set again we have variation on the places so as soon as the onset of the monsoon start we have a season called kharif so this is the season where the farmers wait for the rains and as soon as the monsoon onset takes place they start to working on making the crop they till the soil they put the seeds they pray to god and they offer everything and they start working for the crop so the major crop of kharif season is mostly paddy and it plays a very vital role in the indian context of food especially it's a prime primitive food for the south indians and for north indians they take it very little because they take wheat more and then after kharif we have the next most important season is the ravi so the second season pattern is ravi and in the second season of pattern see when the kharif is taking place we need a place where it has temperatures more than 27 degrees then only the paddy can be produced all these things also play a vital role but when it comes to ravi the temperatures will be moderate because here the temperature is they are moving on towards the season of november to april so this november to april period it doesn't have much hot sun only in the later part of the may march oh sorry march and april you get the extent of the sun experiences so by the march the season comes to hand so this is ravi period so in the ravi period we get the second cropping pattern most of the famous crop is wheat and all these play a vital role then moving on to the third season what we have is from kharif to ravi and from ravi to kharif the gap between that 90 days that is called zayad this zayad plays as a summer crop or a commercial crop because april may and june are considered as a period of the zayad crop in most of the lands they keep this land dry land because it's a dry I mean summer period but only in few places where the availability of water is too much and they can accommodate it with the crop that kind of place only they take it and this is a commercial cropping pattern and depends highly on the fertility of the soil and because any land cannot be utilized continuously for the three seasons it has to be utilized either for one season one then the next one then give a gap then take the kharif season but here if you are taking kharif ravi and zayad very soon the fertility of the soil also moves away so they take a choice of either kharif and zayad or then ravi and zayad they give gap for any particular period and most of the farmers prefer to give break during the period of the zayad but now because of the commercialization people started to use the land continuously without leaving any period of break so they started utilizing the three patterns or the seasons of cropping now let us find out what are the major crops that are grown in the different seasons in different corners of india 